Pronouncing your last name correctly? Okay, done. Yes, ma'am. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. The why is confusing me on my pronunciation. Counsel, have you received all the discovery in this case and did you review it with your client? Yes, I have, Judge, and yes, I did. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Gaetan, I'm showing you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? I do, Judge. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Proceeding on the lesser included offense of uh, assault, bodily injury, married cohabitation. Any objection? No, Judge. Mr. Gaetan, I'm showing you what's entitled Court Admonishments and Defendants Waivers and Affidavit of Admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Uh, did you understand the status in proceeding on the lesser included offense of assault, bodily injury, marriage, or cohabitation as a Class A misdemeanor? Range of punishment is up to a $4,000 fine and up to one year in the Bear County Jail. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Judge. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? He does, Judge, and I explained to him that his waiver of constitutional rights was for this proceeding only. All right. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Judge. Mr. Gaetan, has anyone threatened you, forced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, Your Honor, tremendously. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. According to the plea bargain agreement, state is proceeding on the less included offense of assault, bodily injury, marriage, cohabitation. Uh, they're asking that your punishment be assessed at 114 days in the Bear County Jail. There are no applications and there's an affirmative finding of family violence. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated as primary custodial parent? Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand that to be the entirety of the plea bargain agreement? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, Judge. State? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you the paragraph entitled Waiver of Appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it in both places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, are there any such motions? No, Judge. Then to the lesser included offense, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest, Your Honor. State any evidence to support the defendant's plea? The state offers state's exhibit one and all attachments, Your Honor. No objections, Judge. All right, all right state, you may be excused to continue to confer. Showing you what's entitled wavering consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same.
All right. So um, can anybody tell me, is he going to have charges with regards to the BMW that's in here? That he hit the BMW when he was leaving the location? Is there a pending charge? I was given time search. Oh, that was the one from before? Mm -hmm. Judge, he, he got a time served offer previously. I think it was in January or February. Okay. In other oh. words, there are no pending charges holding him. All right. The court will uh, find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments. After reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find the defendant guilty, and the court will find the defendant guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Judge. All right. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Uh, no, Judge. He's just excited to get out and get back to work. All right. Uh, State, did you speak to the complainant on this case? We did, Your Honor. She's been a cooperator during the prosecution. All right. The court. Aware of the, uh, the that we've been All right. Thank you. The court will find you guilty, sentence you to 114 days in the Bear County Jail. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. Give you credit for any time served. Sean, you were entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yeah. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And because this is an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question of what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. We can go off the record. How old are you? I'm 40. Just turn 40. You need to learn how to be patient with people. You don't have the police come into your home because you have issues. Yes, ma'am. You understand? Yes, ma'am. So where did this get you? It got you a trip to the Bear County Jail, a broken television set, and a remote doesn't work for the TV. Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Judge. May I be excused, Judge? Yes. Thank Any you. objection? No objection. All right. I'm going to show you what's entitled court. It's causing damage. Okay. Any objection? No objection. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Oh, you're right. She did say yes, Your Honor. I don't know why it sounded like sir. And my allergies are really, I apologize. My allergies are really acting up today. And Judge, I whispered to her that she needs to speak up and not see it. So we have no <laughs> Okay. That's okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Because sometimes people always say that. And I'm like, what? All right. Um, did you understand the state is proceeding on the lesser included offense of attempted arson recklessly causing damage as a state jail felony? The range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. Actually, yeah. Judge, I believe, Judge, since it's attempted, uh, the arson recklessly causing damage is a state jail. And since it's attempted, it's a class A misdemeanor. Okay, why do you guys have this filled out as a state jail? It should have been changed. The first paragraph specifically should list it as a class. A. All right, so you all need to redo this piece of paperwork. Sure. And I would suggest that you use the felony paperwork. That way you can write it in because otherwise I don't have knowledge that she knows that it's a class A because that's not how how it's listed. That first paragraph should be, should I, wrote, I wrote A right next to it. That's my handwriting. First page judge, it says range of punishment and it listed up to a $4,000 fine up to a year in jail. Oh, okay, you are correct. Look at Every this. Every once in a while, judge. Corrections are happening. I appreciate it. I hate to correct you, That's No, no, I, here's the thing. I always tell people, good. make sure that if I'm saying something that's incorrect, to let me know. Okay. All right. So this is what uh, I'm going to need you all to do, though. Yes, I need her to initial it so I know that she knows because all of this is state jail felony paperwork. That's why I say okay. state jail. Yeah. Sure. Sorry about that. I saw that. I, I thought about using other paperwork, but I didn't know if that was probably the better way or from now on, I'll probably try to do that. Okay. Because all this paperwork is state jail felony paperwork. 
I, I tried uh, crossing out. It was the felony, the discussion about the felony, the uh, felony mm -hmm. in possession of a firearm. And I thought I caught everything else. I think I changed everything to a bunch of Yeah, we, are, okay. we erased all of the stuff about the firearm possession because that doesn't apply because it's not a felony. Okay, let me, let me carefully read through the paperwork. Just give me a moment to make sure that everything is the way it should be. All right. All right. So we're back on the record. All right. They're charging you as arson as a class A misdemeanor. The range of punishment for that offense is up to $4,000 fine and up to a year in a Bear County jail. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court doesn't have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, sir. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, sir. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, sir. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court only has the authority to sentence you up to one year in the Bear County Jail and up to a $4,000 fine? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Uh, if I could answer a little bit more, Your Honor. Yes, I do believe she does. She's mentally competent. Uh, she was uh, done a psych evaluation for competency a few months ago. Uh, she has been found competent after discussing the case with her today and last week as a jail visit. I agree she is competent. All right. So she's already um, been to the magistrate's court and they've deemed her competent? That's correct, Your Honor. All right. Do you believe she was sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lockhart, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, sir. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, sir. All right. The court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, sir. Okay. According to the plea, uh, the state is proceeding on the less included offense of attempted arson recklessly causing damage. They're recommending deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration county court cause number 634806, and there's to be a MIC evaluation. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Judge. Defense? Yes, Judge. State? Yes, Judge. I'm showing you the paragraph entitled Waiver of Appeal Paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, Judge. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Judge. Counselor, are there any such motions? There you are. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. State is recommending that your deferred adjudication be for a term of two years and there be a TAP evaluation. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, did you understand that those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, sir. All right. Then to the offense of attempted arson recklessly causing damage, how do you plead? Guilty? Not guilty or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? State all to the one and all attachments. No objections. Right. I'm going to show you what's entitled wavering consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, sir. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, sir. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states' exhibits one in attachments and review the same. <laughs>
All right, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? All right, Ms. Lockhart, if you're released from custody, do you have a place to live? Yes, Your Honor. Where? 738 North No, no, I'm sorry, don't say the address. Oh, but who will you be living with? It's a property my father and father. Sorry, what? I'll be living by myself. Well, who, whose property is it? My father. Why were you not living with your father before during this incident? No, because I'm 30 years old. Well, no, here's the, the thing. I'm reading this and it appears, rightly or wrongly, the way I'm reading it, it appears that you were homeless it says that you started this fire because you were trying to dry a blanket. So I'm wondering why you were not living. Well, no, that's what they say you told them. It's in the police report. So I'm trying to figure out why were you homeless and why would your father let you live with him now? Judge Vickers, just have a second. Here's the thing, Ms. Lockhart, you need to be honest with me because I'm trying to figure out your conditions. And let me just tell you, one or two things are going to end up happening. If I don't believe you're going to be honest with me, this is going to be set for a PSI. You're going to be sent back to the Bear County Jail. They're going to do a PSI report and I'll get it when I get it, which will probably be within eight weeks. So you need to answer my questions and you need to answer my questions honestly. Now, in this police report, Basically, it's implying that you were homeless because it said there were clothing and other items and that you lit this fire because you told them you were trying to dry your blanket. So this is what you stip stipulated to. I didn't force anybody to stipulate to it. That's what's in the police report. So why were you homeless if now you can live with your father? Um, I, was a, I wasn't at home, but I was not homeless. So why were you living in this field or wherever it was with your items? I have no idea. I don't okay. know how to answer that. All right, so why is she wearing yellow today? I'm pregnant. Okay, I, I just wanted to hear it. And how far along? Like 21, 22 weeks now. Oh. Judge, I... Uh... I didn't mean to be presumptuous, but I have been in this court once or twice before. I did tell her she was going to be taking a parenting class, which was theoretically outside. Of it. But she understands she's going to take the parenting class going forward. Because that's going to be her mark. All right. And there are, is she on medications at the jail? Yes, Judge. She was not on her medication at the time. Now she is on her medication. She's frankly alive. She's definitely competent at this point in time. At the time, she was not being rational, but at this time, she is gonna be successful going forward. There is a part about the mental uh, MIC caseload and her being interviewed for that. I believe that would be necessary. And she understands that being med compliant is gonna be a part of that as well. All right, do you have any other children? Yes, I do. How many? Two. And where are they? Out of town with my family. And what are their ages? 11. They're both 11 twins? Mm -hmm. That's either yes or no. Yes. All right. This is what, um, is there anything else from either side? Is, do you know if she's receiving SSI or no? I don't know. 
All right, I'm gonna sentence you to two years deferred adjudication. I'm gonna want felony drug court referral. They should be able to do it because it's two years. And I'm gonna want a MIC evaluation. Those are to take place while in custody. And then I wanna want a referral. If she's not approved to MIC, I want a referral to a Center for Healthcare Services, parenting classes, Take in consideration County Court Cause Number Six Three Four Eight Zero Six. Eighty hours of community service restitution. Once she completes parenting, that will be satisfied. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular UAs. And I'm going to want a TAP evaluation in custody as well. If TAP rep recommends inpatient treatment. Uh, we'll start her with intensive outpatient treatment. And I'm going to want field visits one time per month until further notice. Uh, probation um, will do proof of employment within 30 days of release or proof of SSI within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And I'm sorry, instead of the uh, regular UA's probation, I'm going to want the UA hotline with testing at least once a week. Uh, probation, is there anything else you need? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, you don't. Counsel, do you think there's anything else your client needs? Um, there's something else she needs, Judge. We ask that the evaluations be done when she's out in custody. All right, that will be denied. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, yes. Right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? All right, yes, Your Honor. All right, we can go off the record. Uh, was she not approved for mental health court? Uh, honestly, I uh, can't tell off the top of my head, Judge. Since she's been... Um, in custody this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we've conferred with the DA and this is the attempt. She's got quite a bit of time. So this is our agreement that we've reached. Uh, All right. She was approved. I know that she's being evaluated for mental at the, the MIC caseload, mm -hmm. being that it's a misdemeanor, but mental health court, I don't think that was the approach because it didn't, there wasn't an option to be a misdemeanor until we talked about the last week. All right, probation, can you also do a referral to the mental health court? and see if they'll accept her. My understanding, mental health court, it's sort of like PTD. So if they accept her and she completes it, then this will be as though it never uh, happened. So counsel, if they accept her in PTD and you all want to come back and ask for a motion yeah. for a new trial to withdraw yeah. her plea, yes. then the court will consider that. That's, that's what I was thinking ahead, Judge. That's why my brain was going like, I don't know if it looked like I was rolling my eyes, but I was does that mean that she wants? Yes. Okay. All I'll right. So, um, Rashawn, you. if you can, you're welcome. Rashawn, if you can make sure she's referred to mental health court and tell them that even though she's entered a plea here, if they are willing to accept her, defense is going to file a motion for new trial and the court will grant it. All right. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you. I'll explain in a second what she's doing. Really helping you out. But, you know. All right, and they'll put you back in the box so probation can speak with you, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank Mario, you. you're welcome. Mario Miranda. Hey,